Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda Hughes. Thank you to those who have liked, subscribed, and have hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. As of right now, I'm just popping these out whenever God allows me to or gives me the time of day to do so because I do struggle with time management and God is working on it with me. Um, praise God. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do actually pray before I do my videos. Um, if it's not always immediately right before, it's like first thing in the day or just when I'm on my drives. Like I just talk to God whenever God puts it in my heart that I need to talk to him. But I do make a very everyday effort um, to the best that I can every morning to be able to talk to him. Sometimes it's right when I wake up and other times it's just I have an hour drive to work. So sometimes I'll talk to him just out on the road and it makes the, the drives go a lot faster. So... For those of you who don't know because you're new, um, first of all, congratulations and thanks for coming here. Um, I'm really blessed and, you know, just psyched to have you here. And then also, for those of you who don't know, um, God does speak to me through songs. He gave me a whole bunch of these songs um, and I was trying to keep up. I had over 40 songs and so now I'm trying to pop them out um, in the order that he has placed on my heart to do so. And for today's song, it is Life Ain't Always Beautiful, and it's by Gary Allen. And also, for those of you who don't know, God does give me a lot of country songs. Like, I do love country, but there's also other songs that are not country. So don't be dreading. <laughs> it's not always going to be country. But for today, it is. But anyways, it's Life Ain't Always Beautiful, and it's by Gary Allen. This is an older song. I love this song. I actually have a cup made after this song because when I had my foot injury this is I had it customized I know y'all can't read it very well but anyways oh and I love horses so I had that put on there so that's why I was shocked when the, um, I heard this song come to mind the other day like it was just so strong it put me to tears I was just like wow you know it's just I've been through so much and I'm sure you guys have too and when you go through something where it's so traumatic or you're just going through so much, whether it be warfare or, you know, you're waiting, you know, for our prodigals to come back or you're just whatever your home life, finances, uh, physical features, whatever it is that you're going through that you're struggling with. God sees you. OK, let me just make that clear. He sees you. And even myself, I forget that a lot. And it's just nice to hear it. So I'm going to say it again. God sees you. He's with you, okay? And this is for us, the God ordained spouses. Um, your prodigal feels this too. However, because they do not, they have God in their life, but they're not, I don't know how, I wouldn't say not as dedicated to God as we are. It's just, you got to realize like a lot of them are just now the first time coming to Christ, your prodigal is. Or they've been away from Christ for so long that now they're trying to relearn Christ. So it's not that they don't think God and Christ and the Holy Spirit and all that is not a beautiful thing. It's just they're still working out issues and they're still fighting God in some areas, okay? To whereas we have learned to just be submissive, okay? So I'm just going to leave it at that. But this is for... Um, it is for the God ordained spouses, okay? It's us, us waiting for the prodigal. But anyways, I'm going to jump into it. So this is how it goes. The first line is, life ain't always beautiful. Sometimes it's just plain hard. Oh yeah, we all know that. Life can knock you down, it can break your heart. And that's where a lot of us still feel that way. If your prodigal hasn't come back, or if they have, he or she... Um, may have come back but that's not what you expected or maybe you thought that things would just be better or it would just click more naturally and there's actually more warfare going on there's more pain going on and it's like i didn't think it was supposed to be like this and god's like no it's he's still working it out he's still you know working on them as he's working on you so just um take the, your person as they come back um it's not just that they're coming back. Just realize that they're coming back broken, okay? And you've been through so much stuff as you're waiting for your promise that you're a little broken too. And that's okay because God's using it, okay? 
The second part is life ain't always beautiful. You think you're on your way and it's just a dead end road at the end of the day. Okay, so I just got done talking about that. Like, basically you try something and sometimes if we get out of God's will or if we just try doing things our way, it doesn't work out. And we get frustrated and fed up and God's like, well, I told you to be still. Let me be me and you be you. Okay, that's what he's basically saying. But the struggles make you stronger and the changes make you wise. And happiness has its own way of taking its sweet time. That's the part that made me cry because I have not heard this song in a long time. And I felt like God, like, I don't know about you guys, but for those of you who have not had your prodigal come back, like God keeps throwing, like I keep hearing my prodigal's name everywhere. I keep just seeing people that, I mean, people that really look like him um, in real life. It's not just like an ad, an ad on an um, advertisement on TV or something. Um, it's these are people that I am actually working with and stuff but anyways so like and happiness has its own way of taking its sweet time so a lot of you guys are praying and you're waiting for your person or you're you're waiting for that breakthrough and it just seems like it's taking forever and this is what God wanted me to remind you of is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 even though it shall tarry wait for it because it will surely come. Like he said, it will not delay. Okay. So that's the version that I have. Go feel free to read whatever version that you feel comfortable with. Um, that was ESV version. Um, but that's basically what God's saying about this is that, you know, even though we're waiting, even though we're working while we're waiting and we're trusting in God and we're waiting on the promise and we're just waiting and waiting and waiting, he's like, don't give up. You know, like, happiness will find its way to you your prodigal will find his or her way to you because it's destined to okay um and it's going to catch up with you and it's just going to it's be it's going to be such a beautiful clash or collide and it's not going to be like a wreck when you know it they run into you it's going to be a beautiful thing um awkward not expected but still beautiful um the next part is, no, life ain't always beautiful. Tears will fall sometimes. Life ain't always beautiful, but it's a beautiful ride. And that's where God's saying, I see you. Like, I seen you through the pain. I see you crying at two to four in the morning. I see and hear your prayers. I see you. I'm watching you, your every move. And I can see all the effort that you put into it. I see that you try. I see that you care. I see that, you know, you're making the changes that I've asked of you. I see that you're giving up people and things and places and that you're being submissive and willing to, to my will, God's will, being submissive to my will and not your own. Like, God knows the trouble and the hurt. He, he sees the people that mocked you, the people that put you down, the people that disrespected you and disregarded you and didn't think that you were worth anything. You are so worthy, sweetheart. You are so worthy, sir. Like, you're so worthy. And just keep going, you know, keep shining for Christ because it's going to, that happiness is going to catch up with you. Um, and this is my, the part that also made me cry is life ain't always beautiful. Some days I miss your smile. This is the only part where it kind of felt like it could be for the prodigal, but God was like, no, it's actually us thinking about our prodigal. Like it's not the prodigal just thinking about us. It's us thinking about them. And this is where the weight of the waiting, the weight of the waiting and I wish for just one minute I could see your pretty face guess I can dream but life don't work that way like you're almost tired of dreaming like you just want the real thing you want the real deal like you just want your person and God knows your heart and he knows the heaviness of the weight that you're carrying excuse me from being a generational curse breaker and from basically you know the assignment that's over your life to be with this this prodigal to be with this person and God says he sees you and he knows you and um the next part says but the struggles make me stronger and the changes make me wise and happiness has its own way of taking its sweet time he's just saying keep waiting keep waiting just hold out a little bit more just a little bit longer you're almost there don't give up. Don't give in. Keep going. Come on. You can do it. That's all he's saying. 
And the last part is, no, life ain't always beautiful, but I know I'll be fine. Hey, life ain't always beautiful, but it's a beautiful ride. What a beautiful ride. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns. There's going to be a lot of things you expected and things that went in a way that you didn't expect. And sometimes it's for the best and other times you're just still asking God why. And, you know, that's the mystery of God. Um, it doesn't really matter what we actually do and don't go through in life and who we do or don't go through life with. The point is, is that as long as God is in our life, that ride that we're on is going to be such a beautiful ride. He's going to take you places and have you meet people. He's going to have you do incredible things. And this is just the beginning of it. <laughs> like, you know, God's always going to prepare your heart for what it is that it desires in between. That's why you got to ride the waves in between when you're going from glory to glory with him. And that's why some people can't go and that's why you got to make room for the ones that are ready for you in the next season. And even though this life does come with um, hurt, there's also a beautiful side of this. It also comes with healing. And Jesus is the answer to all of that. He can offer you the healing whether you're hurting or you're not. You know, he's he knows your heart and life is beautiful and you don't have to go through life alone. And that's pretty much all that God revealed to me through all of this. And just remember the bit, the biggest Bible verse that he revealed to me in this was Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much to those of you who subscribed. And also, I just want to give a shout out. Thank you to anyone who has just donated to my ministry because, like, wow. Like, you guys are incredible. Um... I wasn't expecting that and like I said a perfect time to announce that because I just I don't really ask for it it's just down in the descriptions if you guys ever want to check out the podcast that I have for Faith Strong it's on Anchor and Spotify um faith based material uh I also have Walk in Your Worth and that's mainly for women but I mean I guess men are welcome to watch if they want I really don't have control over that um just kind of helping from abuse and relationships and uh, any of you women who've been raped or anything like that, uh, that's basically what I talk about and it's hard to do. So please forgive me as I'm trying to get the message out there and trying to be bold enough to do this. Um, if y'all could pray for me over that, I appreciate it. And also I pray for all of you guys. Um, and I love hearing from you guys. Thank you to anyone who have sent me an email. Like, I just really, really, really appreciate hearing from you guys. And if you do send something, just know about one to three days, I'll get back to you just because, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually also a pastry chef and I'm currently in school. I have a couple weeks left before I'm done with this program and then I'll be doing a different one. So thank you to those who have been patient, who've been kind, who've been praying for me, who, those of you who sent money to my ministry. Um, I want to see what God wants to do with this stuff because, I mean, I have my plans, but he's got his. And I just can't wait to see what he would like to do with them. And this is to help you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And again, my name is Miranda Hughes, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.